Welcome back everybody. I'm Marcia. You're watching The Urban Man. So today we've got another diecast video. Today we're going to be looking at what a toy grade diecast looks like compared to a hobby grade diecast. So a lot of us collectors obviously collect a multitude of uh, different various diecast manufacturers and those that are looking to get into diecast collecting are wondering what do you get compared to a toy grade die cost as opposed to a hobby grade die cost? Now, I got basically the entry level into toy grade die cost collecting. Uh, here we got a RMZ City. This is a Ford GT. And over here we got a Mini GT Ford uh, GT as well. So these two are pretty much the ones that I can compare. That's in terms of color, way and that that I can compare them because this is a flat black color way and this is a shallow black which also is supposed to be like a flat black. Um, I've got some other mini GT4 GTs. Uh, here we've got the Heritage Edition and here we've got the Festival of Speed Edition. Uh, so these two, I uh, look, they, in terms of uh, comparing the hobby grade and that, you can use them. But I think in terms of color way, these two will be the best way to compare them. And just so you can see, what you can get, uh, I think this was 30 Rand, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think I may have taken the price tag off of here. I think this was about 30 Rand. And uh, on these ones here, do I have the price still on here? Uh, this guy here paid 224. Uh, so for about, let's say 200 bucks more, you're gonna get a Ford, uh, a Mini GT. All right, so this is obviously, like I said, really entry level and then your mini gts are also quite entry level into um the space of hobby die cost although the detail the price value that you get for this entry level is freaking awesome you get obviously much more expensive uh, hobby grade die costs uh, in one in 64 scale but then you are going to be paying probably about double the price of this so when you compare uh, value for money the mini gts are really really a great option so let's not drag this on more uh, let's open up this uh, rmz city let's pop this open here take a look so it does come in this nice little box there which you can leave it in and display if you want to uh, which is not too bad this little display case uh, not too bad for 30 bucks uh, can we get this out how does this open let's try the other way no, nope, that's not working either. Should just slide out. There we go. There we go. All right. So the car is loose inside of here. Nothing is securing it down. Uh, you can see there's no drilled holes or something holding it into here. Uh, that's pretty much it. So you've got this little stand which the car comes placed in. Let's take her out and uh, have a look and take a look at this little uh, RMZ 4GT. So looking from the side profile, not too bad. Uh, the wheel arches are a little bit, I uh, don't know if the camera will catch that, but the wheel arches are a little bit cut high up. So it does, but once you put it down, it does sit a bit lower. There is no suspension. It does sink in slightly, so it doesn't look too bad. Um, let me try it this way, just so you guys can see. Uh, it still does have a bit of a gap so on the wheel arch there, but not too bad overall. Uh, you do have some nice body lines over there. Windows are all blacked out. And the reason why they do this is this is pretty much a hollow uh, interior. There's nothing going on inside here. Um, when, if, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but there's these slots here that I can look at. And I can see there's absolutely no interior over there at whatsoever. So the windows are part of the die cast. They just black them out. I think they put a sticker over it to make it look like a window. So there's nothing going on inside. Bottom plastic and uh, we just got a pin going through. So these should roll fairly easy. Let me do it. it does roll quite nicely. No issues over there. Uh, looking at the back, we do have painted headlights. Just two little red dots over there. Uh, going back to the other side. Uh, pretty much the same as the other side over there. Headlights, so the headlights are painted. We do have a Ford uh, Deco over there, Tempo. Um, the headlights are painted, as I said, but you do have some overspray going onto the bonnet. 
so you can definitely see um, it is a bit of a rust job they're trying to push these out as many as possible uh, riveted at the bottom so you'll have to drill that out if you want to use this as a custom uh, no rear spoiler or anything of that sort but that's all right that's uh, it's not uh, a racing oh, not a racing car this is not uh, any of the additions that come with the spoiler for example like this heritage edition you can see there's no rear spoiler there um, and some of your other ones like this one that we're going to take a look at now does have a rear spoiler but that's fine no problems there uh, you do have a cutout on the side which is correct and goes right through so overall pretty well done i can't complain for 30 rand uh what you get for this little toy grade rmz city 4 gt okay let's set this guy aside over here maybe we should put him up here if he'll hold yeah let's put him up there let's open up this mini gt 4 gt uh you know what wait let me get me pocket knife Right, let's open this guy up. Try not to kill ourselves in the process. There we go. All right, do you want to give me a tough time? I see also. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, obviously, the Mini GTs all come packaged pretty much in this, all the new ones at least, come packaged in this uh, little box. Uh, there have been previous earlier models that came in uh, different packaging, but the ones that I've seen lately all come in this box where you can't see the vehicle, which is a little bit of a bummer uh, that you can't see the vehicle, whereas with your RMZ City, you do have it all cut out that you can check the vehicle inside. Uh, so... Let's pop this open over here. Should open relatively easy. There we go. Uh, it is a licensed product. And I think this, was this Mini GT also a license? Yeah. This RM, sorry, this uh, RMZ City is also a licensed product. Let's get this open. So looking at the inside does come, is reminiscent of all Mini GTs. They come in this little clear, plastic sleeve and there we have the vehicle this just pops open slides open all right so it is not a i thought it would be a flat black similar to the rmz city but it's not it's actually a glass back what do they say uh shadow black okay on the box says shadow black it looks sort of it looks on the box it looks sort of like half was I don't know if the, you'll pick that up. It looked like the back was glass and the front is matte, but um, it's not that at all. It's a uh, completely glass black, but it's fine. Uh, we had to do a fair comparison. Uh, it's not really so much about the color, but uh, more if you're looking at the two, I think it'll be nice just to have them both in black so we can have a look. Now, in terms of size wise, the Mini GT is slightly bigger, uh, slightly longer. You can see that I'm trying to put rear wheel to rear wheel over there. And you can see it does extend forward a little bit. So now let's take a look at what you get on a hobby grade as opposed to toy grade. So once again, let's take let's put this RMZ City back down. Uh, let's start off with the side profile. And you can see the wheel arches and the tires sit beautifully there is a tiny little gap but the wheels are still rotating let's put it down give her a roll and just see that nothing's getting caught no that rolls beautifully uh what do you get you get rubber tires as opposed to that just plastic tires your rims are a lot a lot a lot better um i mean the rims on these are just thick and solid. Uh, here, your rims have got much more finer detail on them. Uh, you got, you can see that where the nuts, the wheel nuts are to tighten the tires onto the hub. Uh, I'm not going to look at sticker-wise uh, because that doesn't have any stickers, so we can't look at any of the 
tampers and decos over there but we can compare the ford logo on the two so if we look at this ford logo on the rmz city as opposed to this one on the mini gt the mini gt just looks slightly finished off a little bit better and more uh, uh, proportionate to size uh, looking at the headlights that's like a you can't even compare the headlights so the mini gt is also it does have a clear does have a clear lens and the headlights are inside although it doesn't have too much detail but i mean compared to when you look at the headlights yeah you can't compare at all uh, looking at the uh, side mirrors uh, mini gt always have these nice flexi uh, like rubberized mirrors which is nice quite nice and durable whereas you can see on the rmz city those are just like part of the die cast so not much definition over there uh, looking at turning it around going to the rear uh, here you can see the rear exhausts they painted on the rmz city nothing going on there that's just blacked out and then once again let me try to see if we can check out these headlights so the headlights the rear lights sorry are also have like a clear uh they also have like a clear plastic or something so it's got a little bit more detail over there let's just see if, yeah there we can go can pick those up slightly it's a little bit dark red but deep red but you can pick that up quite nicely and looking at the rear diffuser um yeah you can't uh i mean the much more detail this one actually protrudes out a little bit i don't know if that is maybe this is just a, a racing variant that's why it comes out but even at the bottom here it's much more defined this uh rear diffuser here as opposed to this one a little bit smaller but look uh they are different versions so that may be the reason why and then when you're looking at the detail from the inside uh if you let's see if we can catch that you actually have a dashboard going on inside there from the side you can't really see these windows are quite small but um if i turn it slightly at an angle i can see the dashboard with the center console over there much more noticeable from the front uh, it does have a steering wheel uh, i can't see the seats but i assume i'm trying to look i would assume it does have seats so there is some form of detail going on over there as opposed to obviously the rmz city nothing going on and then there's a lot of finer detail so if you really sit uh looking around um for example on the hood over here if you look at the rmz city at these cutouts over here these air inflow these air ducts over here and you look at the air ducts over here of the mini gt the this is just painted uh, not much going over on over there over here it looks like they've put this it's supposed to be like some carbon fiber there or something um but it's a different material that they've actually inserted over there it's probably part of uh, the internals um but there is definitely some more detail over there as opposed to on the rmz city uh, looking at the rear the way it uh, all your lines and that the way that it let me see if i can show you guys what i'm talking about okay the, this cutout where i was showing you is earlier on uh, where your wind actually flows through the door and out the rear if you look at the mini gt it's much more defined uh hopefully the camera can pick that up uh, it's not so clunky and big like this one there's a little bit more detail uh, there's like a little vent there on the side where the where the wind flows through this one is also have that but that this mini gt has like a carbon almost look to it uh, so yeah very very different the base on the mini gts are steel as well it doesn't have too much information at the bottom which for me that is a little bit of a bummer uh, i wish it did have some information on on the vehicle but it doesn't uh, screws at the bottom so you can easily remove you don't have to drill this out if you want to get it take it out uh, what else can i show you guys i think that's pretty much it uh, but overall looking at the two uh, you can uh, well for me definitely can 
see the difference uh, of a Mini GT compared to like this RMZ City. So, well, I say Mini GT of toy grade versus hobby grade. You're going to get a lot more detail. Um, a little bit difficult to compare these two, but uh, there is a lot of differences in just these models when I'm looking at like for like. Um, even weight wise, this just feels a lot heavier. Obviously, that's a lot got to do with the internals over here. A lot of finer details when you're looking at these two models. But overall, not bad for 30 bucks. I mean, uh, if you are a little bit on a tight budget, I mean, this RMG City is not bad at all. Uh, the, just They just sit so beautiful. Let me, so you guys can see that side profile, how nice and low this Mini GT sits. And then show you so this RMZ City again, just so you can see a lot of fine, fine details. And that's what you're paying for you when you're going to do, um, because it's a little bit of a difficult comparison, because this is like a racing sort of spec Mini GT, uh, 4 GT, <laughs> Mini GT, 4 GT. Let's open up this Heritage Edition, which is more in line with to a base just the colors are obviously slightly different in that. But let's open up this um, Heritage Edition so that we can have a nice comparison of the two vehicles. Let me put this box here. I'm just keeping track of everything where I'm placing it. Let's check out this Heritage Edition. I think that'll be a much more fairer comparison or better way to compare these two so that you guys can actually see um, I mean, this is a racing spec, so it, it is a bit more difficult to compare the two. Let's check out this Heritage Edition <laughs> already, just looking at this. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right, here we You guys are in for a treat. All right, so once again, the wheel arches and with the tires sit beautifully. Um, the rims are nice gold color. Uh, I'm not going to go with the look at the decos and tempos because we can't this one doesn't have anything but once again your ford logo has just that nice finishing it looks just so much better finished off uh, headlights are the same as the other racing one that we were looking at your headlights are the same just obviously the big difference will be the rear spoiler once again as i said plastic uh wings plastic rear view mirrors uh okay looking at the rears here we can here we're going to get a better sense of how these things are finished off. Uh, so looking at this rear spoiler, much more sleeker and thinner. Uh, the main difference where you guys are going to be surprised, um, even though we were talking about the diffuser earlier on, so they pretty much are on point, both of those uh, rear diffusers. They do look pretty much the same. Um, but we're going to see a nice difference here now, guys is look at that engine bay and look at that engine bay there's nothing <laughs> oh man look at the detail inside that engine bay let's oh man that looks so good here you can see um the steering wheel a lot easier the dashboard the interiors oh man this looks good i love seeing that engine bay over there so you can see over here why are you paying that little bit extra of a premium and it's not all big and clunky like i've seen some other uh not a budget die casts um hobby uh, toy grade die casts where you can see the engine bay but uh it's difficult to pick this up on the camera but the detail on it is very fine it's not all big and clunky there's different colors you've got some silvers and grays there it's not all just sprayed in a silver or a black or something like that uh, so it is finished off beautifully so yeah i think that'll be a nicer way to compare why you are paying a little bit more of a premium on this hobby grade as com as opposed to a toy grade die cast um this is to keep, uh, have on display. This is to play with. <laughs> this is to play with. This you don't mind chucking around, throwing in a box. Um, this you're not really going to do that with. So just depending if you're buying it for display purposes, then obviously, definitely 
hobby grade is the way to go. If you're buying something more for your kids and they're small and young, then going with one of these is a no-brainer. I would say definitely this, I think, will be, uh, I, I won't say even more robust because it does feel a bit cheap-ish. Um, I don't know how long these wheels will last. They might pop out soon after rolling it around a couple of times. <laughs> Uh, might be better off getting something like a Hot Wheels, but um, yeah, not not too bad for thirty bucks. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Smash that like button, and peace. Cheers for now.